welcome you to this Wednesday night prayer and praise service. So good to see each of you here. And we give a special welcome back to Erica. So good to have Erica Winkler back with us. I'm glad that she's here, here tonight. I want us to take our chorus books and we're going to open with chorus number 59. We're going to do something a little different in service tonight. I'm going to shuffle things up a little bit. And so following this song, we're, well, Stephen's going to come and we're going to have our prayer time. And uh, then after prayer time, I will uh, give some announcements and allow you to, uh, to share any testimonies you might have. But then following that, we're going to incorporate our uh, special singing, our congregational singing, I should say, uh, in, the, in the latter part of the service. So just go shuffle it up a little bit. I hope, hope you won't run out on me. Uh, run me out. And, uh, but, we're gonna shuffle. but I want us to start with number 59. There's just something about that name. December 25th, but whatever day that was, and back it up 
this many days before the angel showed up in the sky and Mary had a baby in a barn. <laughs> and you would have looked at the, the political climate and the religious climate and the world conditions. The important people, <coughs> if you would have looked at all of that, you probably would have put uh, Caesar at the top of the most important person in the world. And down from there might have been Herod and other political figures that would have been known at that time. But you know, time has a wonderful way of giving us perspective that we right. desperately need. That's right. Time has shown that Caesar wasn't near as important as we thought he was. They would have thought he was. <coughs> The world conditions weren't the driving force of what was happening or going to happen. But when you look at it, over 2,000 years later, here we are singing about that baby that was born. And you know and I know that as we sang tonight, something stirred in my heart. <laughs> Kings and kingdoms are going to pass away. But there's something about that. <coughs> you know, that ought to tell us something very, very important uh, about, about God's plan, about our life and our world and what's going on in our life. Sometimes we get down to that little narrow focus and we say, oh my, what? But I just want you to, want you to broaden your perspective a little bit and say, oh, God has a big old plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And I'm glad he does. Yeah. And I want him in charge of that plan in my life. That's right. I know yes, you too. That's right. We're going to pray again. <coughs> Tim, will you lead us tonight, yeah. please? And uh, let's remember those that are among our number that need prayer, Sister Albertson, Sister Cooper. Uh, the Sabos are better, but still struggling a bit. Uh, Ralph Wilmhoff has been sick still. Uh, Sunday she was. Krista was saying he's still having cough, terrible cough and so forth, recovering from that. Uh, Dan Beavis, this is uh, Sherry's brother. Has he already had his surgery? Is that yeah, it's, it's <coughs> All right, so they're, they're trying to decide what to do, but we are, you know, could face open heart surgery and trying to figure out exactly what to do. So let's remember Dan Beavis, Sherry, uh, Sherry's sister, uh, Sherry's brother. Uh, and uh, Eli is sick tonight. We want to remember Eli and uh, maybe others that are sick as well. I, I think right here at Christmas, I was reading some articles coming up to prayer meeting about the conflict in Israel and all that's going on. And uh, I think it would be very appropriate for Christian people to pray for Israel. And, and the way I would like for you to pray for Israel tonight is that somehow God would open the eyes of people, Jewish people, that, that uh, God wants to reveal himself to and will, and will, if, uh, if they will turn to him. So I think it would be appropriate for us to pray that there would be a revival of faith and a revival of, of right. true, true faith and truth biblical truth right. in the Israeli people. <coughs> Any other requests you want us to remember tonight as we pray? We ought to pray for all of the traveling that's going on between now and New Year's. Yes. You know, thousands of miles undoubtedly from people sitting right here tonight. A lot of you have said we won't be here next Sunday. We're going to wherever to family and that's wonderful. So let's pray that God will give us all traveling. Maybe you have an unspoken burden by upraised hand leads across the congregation. Let's stand together as we pray. And let's lift our hearts together. Him will lead us. Let's join him and give God praise and pray together with our request tonight. Thank you, Lord, that we can be in your church tonight. And yes, yes. Praise Lord, we Lord. have been called out praise of this world. And we're grateful, Lord, that you have been pleased to extend your mercy to each and every one of us here. Thank you, Lord, that we can gather in the name of Jesus and that you are present. There's more than two or three gathered here this evening, and we know that you are here. We thank you for bending your ear once again to the hearts and cries of your people. We acknowledge that you are great and magnificent, Lord, yes, yes, the one great. true God and the 
one who is full of wisdom and truth. And Lord, you are uh, governing all things by uh, the, just a, a kindness and love of heart. And you are orchestrating life according to your will. And thank you, Lord, that you abound in infinite wisdom and unfailing love. And it's in you that we put our trust. Lord, thank you for the finished work of Christ on the Thank cross you, and Thank that we you. can bear the benefits, Lord, of that free gift of salvation. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord that we can be declared Amen. righteous Amen. before the Father, Lord. Thank you for yes. regeneration. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for adoption. Amen. Thank you for Lord just uh, the, the new creation in Christ Jesus that Praise we can become. It's all because of grace. It's yes. all because of Thank your you workings your in our life. Lord. and. We desire to submit our wills to you that you might be pleased to accomplish and use these vessels of clay for your purposes and your plans, Lord. Thank you for these uh, dear people here this evening. We come to you, Lord, collectively with our prayers. We know that we don't have the wisdom that it takes and needs for this, this life, and so we call upon you. We don't have the strength or energy that this life requires, but... We know it comes from you, and we know that you are the source of our strength. Yes, yes, and Lord, yes. we call upon you, Lord lifting God. up these dear ones that we voiced and even unvoiced. We pray for Sister yes, Cooper that yes, you would be pleased yes. to give her oh another touch Praise and bring about your healing yes, and your perfect yes, timing. Yes, give her grace, Sister Lord, to George, endure this difficult Saint situation. Yes, we pray oh for God. Rita yes, tonight God. as well as she's recuperating with an injured Amen. finger. From a oh fall, God. be with her oh even God. this very we moment. Pray. We, we pray, pray, Lord, for uh, Janet Albertson, God. Yes. We pray that yes. you would be pleased to continue Amen. to walk with her during this oh season Lord, of her life. We know that you care for her. We know every that you love her. We know that you know what's oh best God. for her. And so, so Lord, may you be pleased and make a sense your presence Lord. during this time. We pray for the Litchfield family yes. as well. Yes. Dear yes. Reese, yes. God, we pray that you bring yes. swift healing oh and if it oh would God. be your will that you would uh, relieve him of this cancer. Oh we pray that yes. you'd be pleased to touch Thank Ralph Wimhoff and yes. Stanley yes. Church and yes. Eli Aubrey yes. and yes. Sister yes. Sankey, Lord, all yes. these yes. folks that need physical oh touches, God, God. we know that you are the creator yes. and the one who knows us best. Yes. Yes. We know what these bodies need, and so we you pray do, that Lord. you would endure you or uh, accomplish your Praise purposes and plans in each and every Praise one of these Lord. people's lives. Praise we pray for the conflict yes. in Israel. Yes. We pray that the light of the gospel oh would impact the and penetrate the hearts oh here in that place. God, we oh God. pray for Israel. May so your mercies be uh, upon it, Lord. May you uh, draw hearts to yourself place. even in the midst of such turmoil and place. chaos and yes, broken heartedness and, and uh, just uh, devastation. Amen. Lord, we just Praise invite you in our time together. Yes. Thank you for this sweet time oh, of year that we can we thank you, give you praise yes. for sending yes. your only son yes. to die in our place, oh, God. Uh, oh, God. to be born yes. to die. We yes. are, are thankful yes. for that. Yes. We lift yes. you up, Lord Jesus. We pray, we pray that you'd be with the yes. speaker of the hour. Yes. And may we lift up our hearts oh, to you God. in song, yes. praise, and adoration. Yes. For you alone are worthy. Yes. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Tim, for leading us. And I, I appreciate Tim remembering some that I should have mentioned. The Litchfields and Rita both need our prayers. And another one that he did not know about that I wanted to mention to you is Brother Sankey. Brother Sankey has had a, a renewing of his, his lung issues, coughing, and he's back on an antibiotic, and he's not doing terrible, but they felt like he needed to stay out of the crowd. So that's why they're not here tonight. But do remember Brother Sankey. Thank you, Tim. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Brother Stetler. Thank you for a good season of prayer this evening. And, uh, let's do our best to remember these that uh, just need our continual prayer support. May the Lord uh, bring them to our minds. May we continue to, to lift them to the Lord in prayer. So glad that each of you are here in the service tonight. And as I mentioned, we are just kind of changing things up just a little bit. And so we are going to do a little bit of a program without a rehearsal. Is that all right? <clears throat> We're going to do a Christmas program unrehearsed. But uh, we have a little bit of uh, 
Oh, we have people already leaving because they're nervous about it. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna solicit you all's help tonight. And so we are going to have several narrators, several angels, um, several wise men, several shepherds, and uh, we are just going to tell the Christmas story and uh, intersperse throughout it where the Talmud is going to be leading us in some singing. And so uh, the very first of all, the very first set of actors, if I could call them that, they're going to be voice actors. Uh, we're just going to have them stand right down here. Tim is poised to turn on the mics. And so I need Doug Hodden to come in. He's going to be the first narrator. Then I need Caitlin Marshall to come. She is going to be an angel for us. We all know she's an angel, right? And then we're going to let Abby Johnstone come. And she is going to be Mary. All right? And so I'm going to put a couple of these down here so they can have access to that. And Brother, Brother Tallman, I'm going to ask you to come ahead up here. And then when you're done, you can just leave the, the papers down. And just pass them. All right, come on up, Brother Tom. <coughs> All right, so we are going to, to begin this program. And before we begin, let me uh, just make a couple of announcements. Obviously, we have a normal Sunday services this coming Sunday with the change of schedule. No Sunday school service at 1030 and then the Christmas Eve service, uh, Christmas Eve candlelight service at 430. So keep that in mind. And then something else I'm wanting to do tonight, and uh, that is if I get permission, I am planning to take a few of you, if there's anybody that's willing, to go do a little caroling to Joyce Cooper in the nursing home. And uh, so if there's anybody that, that would say, I've got the time to do that, I know some of you are probably trying feverishly to get done Christmas shopping. You probably have to leave as soon as church is over and go do that, and that's okay. But if there's anybody that says, well, I have a little time, then uh, let me know after the service, and uh, we're going to try to do a little caroling. I want to make sure it's okay with Brother Cooper. I don't want us to get all, all the way over there and then them turn us away at the door. So I'm going to make sure that that's okay, but I just want to mention that if any of you would be like, would, would enjoy doing that. All right, enjoy the program, The Greatest Gift Ever Given. Follow along as we recall the story of Jesus of Nazareth, the greatest gift ever given. Now in the sixth month of the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, he was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. <coughs> then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her who is called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Amen. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. <clears throat> Get your hymnals and turn to 182. 182. <laughs> Yeah. 
ask you to come be a narrator, and this is just a short scene, and so it's just the narrator, and this will be on page seven. <clears throat> And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, every one to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was, while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. 174, verses 1, 2, and 4. number eight. Page number eight. Don't they look like a great, great group of shepherds? <laughs> Just to make it more authentic, let's hold our nose as they walk by. <laughs> now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. 
Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. <coughs> and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, and that the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now, when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all who, those who heard it marveled at those things which were told to, the, to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told uh, to them. One hundred eighty. One hundred eighty. Verses one, two, and three. All three of them. Yes, yes. Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king. Behold, wise men came from the east 
to Jerusalem, saying, Where, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Now when Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ child was to be born. And so they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they had come to the house, they saw the young child with Mary's mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. <clears throat> This one, this one is not in your hymnal, but I think you know it. We Three Kings will do verse 1. <clears throat> did such a great job. They're going to come back. <laughs> Four shepherds. Thank you. It's just one line. Then being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they, the wise men, departed for their own country another way. And so these things came to pass that they had been spoken of by the prophet Isaiah over 700 years before the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders. His name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. <clears throat> Join together 172. 172. <laughs> Yeah. 
world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And this Christmas story becomes really personal, doesn't it? When we realize that he came for us. Let's close by singing chorus number 138. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. <laughs>